Hey there folks, Rel here. Today we'll be talking about the new and possibly improved jackhammer that was brought to us by Game Update 11, which not only revamped the jackhammer, but also revamped all of the faction heavy weapons. We'll be running down the jackhammer's new stats, touch just a little bit on how it compares to the old jackhammer and other shotgun alternatives, and give you some general strategy on how to use it effectively. The Jackhammer is a heavy assault specific heavy shotgun that is only available to the new conglomerate. It is meant as an alternative to other shotguns that boasts the longest effective range of any shotgun without slugs and is also the only shotgun in the game with a burst fire option. The Jackhammer fires 6 pellets that deal 112 damage apiece up to 10 meters and it drops to 70 damage at 30 meters. The flat damage was actually nerfed a little bit from what it used to be, but all shotguns receive the same sort of treatment. Now most shotguns do around 130 damage per pellet up to 8 meters, and then drop to around 50 damage per pellet at only 30 meters. So the jackhammer has the highest minimum damage at the greatest range of any shotgun, but it also has the lowest maximum damage per pellet of any shotgun. But, to counter that, it also has the tightest cone of fire while moving and aiming down sights, and it has the tightest pellet spread of any shotgun as well. And real quick, I do want to mention that the cone of fire and pellet spread are different. For any normal weapon, if you fire off a shot, your bullet can land anywhere within your cone of fire, which on your screen is the area between your crosshairs. With shotguns, this still happens, but instead of firing an actual bullet, it picks a location within that cone of fire, so anywhere within your, uh, your reticule, and then factors in the pellet spread from that point of impact. So your pellets are going to spread around where the imaginary bullet would have landed. The jackhammer holds 9 shells by default and 45 in reserve, and by default it has the largest magazine of any shotgun in the game. If you equip extended magazines, you're going to be bumped up to 12 shells per magazine, which is on par with other high capacity shotguns with an extended magazine as well. In addition to extended magazines, the jackhammer can equip a laser sight, a flashlight, and scopes from 1x to 6x, including a 2x and night vision scope. We'll actually be talking more about attachment selections a bit later, but it's the only shotgun in the game that cannot equip slug ammunition. The jackhammer has a 2.6 second short reload and a 3.65 second long reload, and that puts it on par with uh, other automatic shotguns, which is middle of the road as far as shotguns go as a whole. It has a rate of fire of 225 while used as a semi-auto, which is the same as every non-automatic, non-pump shotgun in the game, meaning it's also very middle of the road. And this is actually nerfed a little bit from the previous jackhammer, which used to fire at 255 rounds per minute, which was the automatic shotgun's rate of fire. But it also has access to a three round burst that's going to double your rate of fire for those three shots. So your rate of fire is actually bumped up to 450 rounds per minute, and this is going to let you kick out a big burst of damage, but it also has two challenging downsides to it. The first is that after you fire off a burst, you're subject to about half a second of downtime, maybe a little bit less, to rechamber the weapon. So using the three round burst can easily get you killed if you miss, which makes it very similar to a pump shotgun in that regard. The second downside is that the burst fire has a very high recoil associated with it, so you need to either start from the legs or chest while bursting so that the weapon kicks up and into the head, or you need to compensate for the recoil by starting at the head or the chest and then dragging down on the weapon. And it also becomes extremely difficult to control a burst outside of close range. The new burst fire is probably the most important change to the weapon, but it's also my least favorite, and the reason that I don't like it personally is because I have bad aim. And that's the same reason that I don't use pump shotguns very often either. Before game update 11, the jackhammer's burst fire mode had no delay between bursts. It also didn't increase your rate of fire either, but what it did allow is for low aim players like myself to essentially spray the jackhammer like an automatic shotgun just by tapping the trigger because the base rate of fire was also higher than it is now. And this made it much easier for low aim players like myself to use the weapon very well. But I will get into that a little bit more at the end of this commentary. So if you take all the stats, you know, you add them up, put them all together, it turns the jackhammer 
post game update 11 into a tool that's both very powerful and very flawed at the same time. Six pellets at 112 damage apiece means that if you land all of your pellets on at least the chest of your target, it's a two shot kill. But if four of those pellets miss, or if even three of those pellets miss and then one hits the enemy's leg, you're going to be needing three shots to kill. Other shotguns deal around 130 damage per pellet, so they will need to be missing at least five pellets in order to turn it into a three shot kill. So with other shotguns, you essentially have a bit more room to miss. You have a bit more uh, leniency. Not only that, but because of the jackhammer's very small pellet spread, you're either going to hit and hit very well, or you're going to miss and miss big. The new jackhammer is a very precise tool that I wouldn't recommend to anyone who can't use a pump shotgun very well. So generally, I would advise low aim players to just stay away from this weapon. The upsides, of course, are that you can put some damage on enemies even from medium range. Now, you won't be able to reliably kill enemies there, but at least you'll be able to provide support fire and pick off enemies who are at low health, thanks to that 70 damage per pellet minimum. So that's about it for the statistics of the weapon, but before we get into some general strategy, I want to talk a bit about the quirks and the attachments associated with the jackhammer. While you are bursting, you can actually quick knife at the same time. And this is useful if you end up missing part of your burst, or if you're trying to finish off a shielded heavy. But it only works while you're hip firing. It actually works with any burst fire weapon from what I've seen, but it's prominent with a jackhammer due to being a relatively low rate of fire compared to other burst fire weapons. And again, if you're bursting while aiming down sights, you're not going to be able to do this. And speaking of bursting while aiming down sights, after you fire off a burst, your gun is going to jump as you chamber that next burst. And it jumps more than a pump shotgun and more than any other weapon in the game, and this is probably the stupidest, most disadvantageous part of the jackhammer. Because when you're chambering after you burst, you're going to obscure a lot of your vision, which to me is actually a pretty big deal when you're trying to track a target. However, there is a way to circumvent this. You can either use a 6x scope or a night vision scope, but any other scope, including the iron sights, are going to jump with your weapon as it's rechambered. And as a side note, this hands down makes night vision the best scope for the jackhammer if you ever plan on bursting while aiming down sights, at least in my opinion. If you do not plan on utilizing the burst while aiming down sights, which would kind of be silly, I'd suggest going for the 2x or the 1x reflex sights, because despite being capable of medium range combat, it's not very proficient there. So a short range optic is likely going to work the best for how you'll be using it. And as a side note, if anyone has some good jackhammer footage using the 6x scope, I I want you to post a video response below because because uh, that would just be absolutely hilarious. You can think of it as a challenge, you know, get some 6x scoped in uh, jackhammer kills. Do that. Post a post a video response. That'd be really entertaining for probably everybody, not just myself. For attachments, I strongly suggest extended mags over the laser sight. And with extended mags, you're going to be jumping from 9 to 12 rounds, which means that you have the ability to kick out another 3 round burst before reloading. And the difference between being able to fire off 3 bursts and 4 bursts is pretty massive, because if you're like me, you're not always going to kill your enemies on the first burst. So you'll usually be using at least 2 bursts to down an enemy, and if you run into more than one enemy, this is pretty much a death sentence for you. But if you're running 4 possible bursts per magazine, it gives you a lot more survivability in close range combat. But if you do feel like playing on hard mode, then feel free to use a laser sight. That's all well and good, but the benefits just are not extremely noticeable. The laser sight will tighten up your cone of fire, but not your pellet spread. And this gives you a little more accuracy while you're moving, which can be helpful in close quarters and while burst firing. But outside of close quarters combat, where your burst is usually going to tear people apart anyway, you're not going to be hip firing. So the benefits overall are very minor compared to what you're giving up by not going for extended magazines. As far as general strategy goes, the best possible advice that I can give you for this weapon is to use burst in close quarters and use semi-auto at range. And by at range, I'm referring to anything that's outside of maybe 15 meters. 
If you're not running burst fire in close quarters, you're setting yourself up at a massive disadvantage due to the jackhammer's low damage and moderate rate of fire. But if you do run burst fire, you can possibly one-shot enemies as long as you have proper aim, and this is always a very, very good thing. When I refer to proper aim though, it comes from not only knowing the right distance and keeping your crosshair on the target, but also compensating for the recoil appropriately. If you're in extremely close quarters, you burst fire starting at the head and then drag down towards the chest. Or if you're bad at compensating for recoil, you can start at the legs or the chest and let the gun kick up. I know I mentioned this before, but I thought it was worth restating. While in close quarters, try to keep some cover between you and the enemy. This way you can burst, dip behind cover to chamber the weapon, and then peek out and burst again. And the jackhammer's biggest downside is the chambering that takes place, so anything you can do to mitigate this is extremely useful. Also as a word of caution, if you are using the burst, be very careful when there are allies nearby. I think I've actually team killed more with the jackhammer than I have with most other weapons, mostly due to allies running in front of me while the burst is going off or after finishing off an enemy with the first shot of the burst, and then I'm going to try to track the next enemy and end up killing an ally with the last two shots that come out. And seriously, this thing could be very, very dangerous. It's funny at the same time, but people are going to start hating you. And the reason why this happens more with the jackhammer's burst fire than with other weapons is because the burst fire of the jackhammer is actually very slow relative to other weapons. When you look at other burst fire capable weapons like the Equinox Burst, uh, for example, which fires at 700 rounds per minute, or even the Saber 13's two-shot burst, you don't notice the delay between shots and your crosshair is always on target because it's usually going to take multiple bursts or multiple shots to drop an enemy. But with a jackhammer, you need to force yourself to keep your crosshair on the target for the duration of the entire burst. Or if the first shot of a burst takes down an enemy and another one is nearby, you can move your crosshair to the next enemy so that the last two shots before chambering will do some damage. So to kind of sum this up in a sentence, you want to be very deliberate with where you're pointing your weapon for the duration of the burst, both to avoid killing friendlies and to use the burst for multiple opponents. At extremely long ranges, say outside of 40 to 50 meters, it's better to just pull your pistol than trying to use your jackhammer. Because even though it's better at range than other shotguns, the pellets are still going to spread because it's a shotgun. So you're going to waste more ammo than it's worth. And because of this, the Rebel or the Commissioner are very good sidearms to have while using the jackhammer as a primary. Overall, I think the jackhammer got a major shift to how it's played. Not a straight up buff, but a step in the right direction for sure. It was originally just a low damage but well-rounded shotgun with burst fire and a further effective range, and it was still spammable in close quarters because there was no delay after burst firing, and overall the rate of fire was faster. All in all, the thing was a lot easier to use pre-game update 11, but the new jackhammer is a very precise weapon as far as shotguns go that's meant to be used by a very different type of player than the original seemed to cater to, and this is where I kind of have an issue with the changes. Originally, if you were a medium to low aim player like myself, this was a good weapon for you if you didn't want to use the piston, which is the NC automatic shotgun. It gave you some versatility over range, but it was still spammable in close quarters, and this made it a very good weapon for learning how to aim better as well, because it still rewarded your good aim thanks to that smaller pellet spread. But when Game Update 11 came around, the seemingly minor changes to the weapon actually changed the mechanics of how it's used a whole lot. So the slower rate of fire, the slower reload speed, the chambering after a burst, and even the addition of optics gave the weapon a higher skill cap, meaning that it opened the jackhammer up to more opportunities for the weapon to be effective. And a higher skill cap is good, but it also raised the skill floor, or rather it made the jackhammer so it can only be used well by high aim players. So depending on the type of player you are, the jackhammer that you originally bought or would have bought may not really be usable to you anymore. I'm going to post a quick follow-up video to this that explores that thought in just a little bit more depth and uh, come up with some solutions that could have changed it and maybe some things to think about in the future. So you can feel free to check that out as well whenever it goes live. But if this video has been interesting or helpful, please feel free to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about the channel. And if you're loving or hating the new jackhammer over, say, your pump shotgun or your automatic shotgun or the original jackhammer, then let me know in the comments below or post a video response. 
Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.